hello everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is all about this beautiful hair if you want to see how i achieve this just stay tuned So to achieve this look, I used Lulu Tress 3 packs and some braiding hair. So let's move on to the tutorial. So first I'm going to section off the front of my hair where the cornrows are going to be. And here I've sectioned it off. We're going to head right into the crochet method. So I'm using Lulu Tress's, um, I think it's Water Wave. Guys, this is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst hair you could ever use for this style. So I'm just gonna stick with my regular free dress water wave. And um, yeah, the tangles that I got from this hair was a mess. It looked really, really, really good, but it's, it's not worth the hassle. <laughs> and I couldn't even keep it in for that long, like, ugh. So here I'm done with the crocheting. So I did an anchor braid at the top. So for that part, I'm going to do the invisible method so it can look a little bit more natural. So you just loop one strand in there and then you leave the other one. So with the invisible method, you don't you don't loop both strands of hair. So you just only take one out to create that invisible look to make it seem like it's growing out of your scalp. So that's what I do over here. And as you can see, it looks really, really good. The hair is beautiful, but it's it's not worth it. Mm -mm. So I went ahead and I sectioned off my hair for the um, cornrows in the front. It was really hard for me to do it on camera, so I just did it off camera. And I've already sectioned off the hair that I'm gonna use for the braiding part onto my little tool over there. <laughs> so here I just use Shining Jam. So this is how I do my feed in. I start with my hair. I don't start with the hair. So I just start with my own hair. I braid at least like two or three times before I start adding in the hair. So then I add in the hair and then I start to braid. Um, this part is pretty self-explanatory. I don't wanna bore you guys with it. So I'm just gonna leave you to watch till I get to the end and then I'll come back. So for here, um, I'm done with this one and I'm just going to braid it down. Normally with this style, people put beads at the ends, but I've done this style before, like some years ago, and the beads was not a good idea because it kept getting tangled with the, um, with the crochet hair in the back. So here, I just decided to make a knot. I didn't braid it all the way, so I just make a knot and then I'm going to curl the ends to match the curls in the back. So here you go with me doing the brace again. I'm gonna leave you guys again and I'll come back. <laughs>
so here I'm done with the braids and I'm showing you how it looks so you see the ends like I was saying so I add in some mousse at the ends I don't know why I do this but I just do it <laughs> I feel like it doesn't adding the mousse doesn't make it really really tangled at the end so then I take my flexi rod I mean perm rod sorry and then I curl I twist I rod the end sorry <laughs> So I'm just going to rod all of it and then I'm going to dip it in hot water. I don't show me dipping in hot water on camera because that's pretty, that's basic stuff. You don't need to see me do that. So I'm just going to um, rod all the ends for the cornrows in the front. Guys, doing your own hair, especially cornrows, is not easy. I mean, the feeding cornrows, adding hair to it was, it was, it was a bit challenging for me. It's not challenging, but it was too much. It was time consuming <laughs> so i'm just gonna do the rest and then i'm gonna dip it in hot water so here it's already dipped and you can see it's curled it's not the exact curl pattern as the hair in the back but i love it it's still look cute and i snipped the ends a little bit i'm gonna unravel the other side and this is how it looks and for my little transition whoop <laughs> <laughs> so this is how the hair looks it looks beautiful but once again purchase this crochet hair at your own risk because the tangles that i got oh no if you plan on wearing the hair for like a week then maybe go for it but if you want to wear it for like a month it is not advisable the tangles is crazy even here it was fresh but i was even still struggling look it looks so beautiful this style was pretty easy to achieve it's very very trendy now and i just love it next time i'll try it again but i'm not gonna use the crochet this type of crochet hair i'll do something else so just showing you guys how it looks and i thank you guys so much for tuning in